Both squids and octopuses are aquatic animals and have many arms with suckers. They can expel ink when threatened and camouflage their bodies. They are also known to be intelligent animals. Because of these similarities, people may sometimes mistake one for the other. Then, how can we distinguish them? Squids and octopuses belong to the group Cephalopoda, which means head-footed. However, they belong to different superorders. Squids and octopuses have approximately 300 species, respectively. Both squids and octopuses have symmetrical bodies, and their arms or tentacles extend from their bodies. But their body shapes and colors are different. Basically, squids have a triangular head and mantle. Their patterns and colors are normally more muted. Different from octopuses, squids have tiny fins on both sides of their mantle, and they use these to locomote and navigate. Octopuses, on the other hand, have a round head and mantle. Their patterns vary depending on the species. Octopuses do not have fins on their mantle except for deep-dwelling species. The normal sizes of squids and octopuses are not too different. However, when we compare the smallest and larger species, the difference is clear. Most squids are not longer than 24 inches. The smallest squid, the southern pygmy squid, grows only 0.6 inches, but the largest one, the giant squid, can reach 43 feet in length. There are also unconfirmed reports of squids that are longer than 65 feet. Octopuses also vary in size. The smallest octopus, the star sucker pygmy octopus, grows only up to 1 inch, but the largest one, the giant pacific octopus, can reach 43 feet in length. Both squids and octopuses have eight arms. Yes, eight arms. However, in addition to these arms, squids have two long tentacles. They use these arms and tentacles to grab and hold prey while feeding. Octopuses' arms are more flexible than those of squids, so octopuses use them to walk, handle their prey, and manipulate their environment. We can find more differences if we look at their arms and tentacles closely. Squids have suckers on their arms and tentacles, and each sucker has embedded sucker ring teeth. Some species even have small hooks on their arms as well. All of these help squids grab and hold wriggling prey. Octopuses have one to two rows of suckers on their arms. Different from squids, octopuses do not have sucker ring teeth or hooks on their arms. Both squids and octopuses are carnivores, but their prey and hunting techniques are different. Squids mostly feed on shrimp and small fish. They swim in the open ocean in groups and hunt prey. After that, they cut the food into pieces with their powerful beaks. Some species use their toxic saliva to subdue prey. Octopuses primarily prey on crabs, clams, and whelks, types of sea snails. Some larger species hunt fish and shrimp as well. When catching prey, octopuses inject their paralyzing saliva into it by using their hard, parrot-like beaks. After this, they dismember the prey with their beaks. Squids and octopuses use jet propulsion as their means of locomotion. For this, they suck water into a muscular sac in the mantle cavity and quickly expel it out of narrow siphon. In this way, they can swim in any direction quickly. Squids also use fins on their heads. These fins steer and stabilize squids when moving slowly. Except for some species, most octopuses do not have or use fins. Instead, they crawl by using their strong arms. When they are threatened, squids and octopuses swim rapidly. 
Many species can expel clouds of ink into the water to distract predators. Squids can use different types of camouflage. They can match their coloration to their surroundings for one. Some species use counter-illumination, and they rely on light-producing symbiotic bacteria. Octopuses can camouflage themselves with surroundings by changing their skin colors, shapes, and textures. They also hide or squeeze their bodies into tiny crevices or objects. Squids and octopuses are found in oceans all around the world, but different species thrive in different areas. Squids generally reside in the open ocean, but some of them are found near the surface, and some live at abyssal depths. Since they don't need to live near the ocean floor, they don't build dens. Octopuses mostly live close to the seabed. They also build their dens in coral reefs and along the ocean floor. However, there are some species spending a majority of their time in the open ocean. Some squids live alone, and others like to live in schools. It's even reported that some species, such as Humboldt squids, can use their color and lighting patterns to communicate with each other. Most octopuses are solitary except during mating season. However, some species are known to occur in high densities. The lifespans of squids and octopuses vary depending on their species, but most of them die shortly after mating. Most squids live between 1 and 5 years. Some species, though, live only for 9 months while others are reported to live for nearly 15 years. Octopuses live between 1 and 3 years in general, but some octopuses only live for 6 months and others can live up to 5 years. Now you know how to tell the differences between squids and octopuses. That's all I have for today. Thank you!